Hey guys, Matt Ackerson here, the founder of autogrow.co. It's the end of the day here for me, but I wanted to make this quick video before I sign off and publish it as a Matt hack for you guys because I just realized a huge problem in our sales funnel that was having a really big impact on sales and I didn't even know it. I thought it was you know, related to some other things, but not this. So what happened was last month, we actually put on uh, our first webinar, uh, how to triple your leads with the seven laws of sales funnel physics. I encourage you to go ahead and attend this month's presentation of that. It's free and it's live. I will be answering your questions as well live on that presentation. It's the first one I've given in over almost two years. Um, but I, I gave it for the first time last month and I put about like a week of work into getting everything set up. We made some massive changes to our sales funnel. We turned off some things and that's where we may have made our, uh, this mistake. And it's one of those mistakes where when I show it to you, it's going to be like, Oh man, like, cause that, that's, that's how I feel right now. But these types of things, they're going to happen in your business. And in this video, I want to show you not just what the problem is, which I call a zero multiplier but what's the solution, the very simple, practical solution that you can use in your business to avoid these issues and maybe not avoid them entirely, but at least minimize their impact from what would be something more significant to something very, very small. So I was looking at our automation earlier today on Active Campaign, and I was just looking at some emails and I see here, you know, I'm seeing like at the wait actions, you know, we have like one, two day delay between emails. Um, it's either sent either every Thursday or Tuesday or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, something like that. Um, and this is in our survey funnel. So this is what helps us to personalize follow up for people, you know, who have just joined our email list and they tell us, um, you know, what their biggest marketing problem is, you know, are you trying to grow traffic? Is it lead generation? Is it building a funnel top to bottom, your biggest challenge? So people come in, they tell us what their biggest concern is and we deliver, deliver them relevant content. But I, I saw, okay, like only one, you know, in the weight actions here, only one person here, only, you know, zero people over here. It's like, what's going on? So then I scrolled up and I moved over to here and this was the face palm moment. Wow. Okay. We got 1,220 leads just waiting in the queue. Um, you know, who they, they told us what their biggest challenge was, but you know, this was, this, this wait action, wait for 10 months. I, I actually remember putting that in place now, looking back during that frantic week where, you know, I was putting, I was just laser focused on the webinar, putting together, you know, the funnel as it relates to that you know, making other changes to the rest of the funnel so that it all integrated well. And that's what caused this issue where I'm left wondering this week, I'm like, we, you know, sales are down, they're down a bit. And meanwhile, okay, at least now we know the problem. So duh. Um, and this is what I would call a zero multiplier. So you may have heard me speak about this on, um, you know, past videos or articles. Zero multipliers are something where you know, you, you have inputs into a system, but anything multiplied by zero is going to always be zero. Okay, in this case, you know, we're lucky than some other businesses. So if you're an agency or a consultant, you, you, you know, leads are the lifeblood of your business. So maybe, you know, an email automation like this might be generating 80, 90% of your leads. I can say from experience because autogrow.co used to be an agency. Well, you know, we're lucky because uh, about uh, about 40, 40 to 50% of our sales revenue comes in on the front end. So people, in other words, who are coming to our website and will actually buy something from us on the first visit. And then the rest of our revenue comes from people who are going through our email automation, um, who maybe want to get more, more familiar with our brand before they invest in any of our courses or uh, you know, training products, for instance. So it's not as bad revenue wise in terms of the hit that it had to our business as it could have been. But let me tell you about the very simple solution that you need. You need a simple checklist like this one and you can build it on a tool called Wufu. All right. 
And Wufu is a freemium tool. It's really simple, really easy to learn how to do. You know, it's like a drag and drop builder. You can make checklists that you or your assistant or someone else on your team can fill out, you know, once per week. Let's see, check if website is live or even multiple times per week because if a significant portion of your marketing is online, if any single portion of your online marketing funnel is down, inactive, or there's an error somewhere, you need to be able to detect it because these marketing tools like ActiveCampaign, they're dumb in the sense that they're only as smart as we program them to be. So if we say, like I did in this case, wait 10 months, it's, it's gonna do exactly that until we change it. Um, now fixing that problem is, uh, is pretty easy, but detecting the problem, like what I'm showing you here, is more important. And you might say, okay, yeah, Matt, sounds great, sounds you know, too good to be true, checklist, I've, I've heard of it before. If that's what you're thinking right now, you're probably not gonna take action, and I want you to take action. I want you to take this one action in particular. I want you to get out a notebook, a notepad, a blank piece of paper, and I want you just to write down what you, your assistant, or someone else on your team can do once, twice, three times per week, where they can just check to make sure that things are running properly. So the same way that I showed you that I went into this email automation and I was able to uncover the fact that there was, uh, in, in you know, other parts further down in the email automation, there was no one waiting there. You need to have your team or yourself actually checking for similar symptoms of that might be a zero multiplier. All right, so get out a piece of paper, write zero multiplier checklist at the top of it, and just write down the top, say, five things, uh, five symptoms of the idea that something is very wrong with your sales funnel, okay? Sales aren't coming in, you know, traffic isn't coming in or being registered by, by Google, um, email subscribers aren't coming in, uh, you know, you're not seeing people arriving on a certain critical landing page that you expect them to be. You know, you have an, a thousand email subscribers and you have two people arriving on, an, on a landing page that you emailed them about supposedly. You might want to go check on that because there's probably a zero multiplier at work in that situation. It may be a broken link, okay? Because all these little details, they have to be perfect. They have to be all aligned and working perfectly at all times for you to see a return on your investment in your marketing funnel. All right. So anyway, that's my tip. Uh, go take action on it, get a piece of paper and go do that right now. And if you want more actionable tips like this, do subscribe for more Matt Hack videos. You can click on the Matt Hack link in the navigation and be sure to leave a comment. I read all the comments or hit reply on the email that this video may have come to you. Um, in the form of, and I read all replies and I'll be happy to consider answering your question in an upcoming Matt Hack video. All right. So in the meantime, though, pay attention, pay special attention to this as it relates to your email automation campaigns and your sales funnel as a whole. All right. So until next time, my name is Matt Hack and the Matt Hat delivering you your daily dose of Matt Hacks. Keep hustling and stay focused.